So uh, could you just tell us who you are and what you do? Okay. Um, my name is uh, Riccardo Polosa. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Catania in Italy. Uh, my main area of research is uh, asthma and COPD. But in the last 10 years, I got involved also in the area of uh, nicotine addiction. And most recently, I, uh, I, I developed an interest in the area of uh, electronic cigarettes because I really believe they can be uh, a breakthrough in terms of uh, reduced risk and in terms of uh, um, impact in, on public health. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about the study that you've been working on? Uh, yes, um, we, uh, we completed last year a pilot study. It was a longitudinal six-month study looking at the smoking behavior of 40 smokers not willing to quit who were uh, offered to use the, uh, a three-piece electronic cigarette. And uh, the results of these studies are, are available for free for anybody through the BMC public health um, website. In, in, uh, in essence, it shows that uh, electronic cigarettes may be effective in reducing exposure to, uh, to tobacco cigarettes. Here uh, I have just presented the uh, randomized, the first r global randomized controlled trial on uh, electronic cigarettes uh, involving 300 uh, electronic smokers. Uh, again, smokers not willing to quit. Uh, the format of the study was uh, uh, such that um, we were um, looking at the fact of uh, two different dosages of electronic cigarettes plus uh, an electronic cigarettes without nicotine as a control. And uh, we were able to show similar results as in, uh, in our pilot study, although there were little difference between the three different arms of the study. And I believe this difference was due to a number of reasons. The main reason is that these people were not very um, successful in extracting nicotine from their uh, devices. And secondly, because the three piece uh, electronic cigarettes are a bit dodgy and they can cause a, a little bit of disaffection with the product. Okay. And uh, so if you were to start doing this, another study along the same lines, is there any particular area you'd be kind of excited to look into or that you would want to? Um, flesh out a little bit further? Yeah, sure. We, we just started uh, in collaboration with the Na National Health Institutes of uh, Holland uh, a study looking at uh, the levels of uh, carcinogens and toxic substances directly in the blood of uh, um, a small experimental group of smokers experimenting with uh, different types of electronic cigarettes plus their own brand as a competitor. And is that going to be a change over time or is that just going to be? A, a, well, what we do, we cannulate patients and we look at the effect, uh, at the acute effect of uh, three minutes puffing with all these different products over 60 minutes sampling. Uh, and then we we allow them to, to smoke them chronically for another eight to eight hours, and we do a final collection. Okay. And do you have any personal experience with electronic cigarettes, either through yourself or friends? Uh, I, 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 of course, after all this work, I think we, we gained quite a, a large experience, first-hand experience with electronic cigarettes. And I'm glad to say the University of Catania is now the leading center in electronic cigarette research right now. And one thing I just wanted to, when you were on the subject of talking about doing further studies, I know it's uh, really tough to make any definitive claims about electronic cigarettes at this point, but uh, when, uh, when you hear about people, uh, I don't know, people in your study specifically that uh, make the switch completely from cigarettes to electronic cigarettes and they have the same sort of transition that people do when they quit smoking, they can walk upstairs again, they can run, oh, yeah. they can do a physical, do you believe I that see, that's, I, that's I see what you mean. Um, uh, in, in our experience is that people that can be 
switched completely onto e-cigarettes will uh, perceive exactly the same benefits perceived by people quit smoking with the only advantage the main advantage they don't suffer from withdrawal symptoms and if i may add something in this very uh, in this very late study the ECLAT study um, we also see that those who are quit smoking are not gaining much weight which is kind of uh, uh, intriguing because we do know that smoking cessation, one of the problems with smoking cessation is that people will put on weight. I assume that perhaps because uh, they keep themselves busy with their hands, they, they don't pick much food and they don't pick up much calories uh, unintentionally. Right. Um, was there anything in particular that you came to realize about electronic cigarettes that you didn't expect? Um, getting into this, um, like any surprising realizations or I I think uh, what what really surprised me are a number of caveats connected with the e-cigarettes. For example, uh, a smoker would like them to be just perfect. Just perfect means that they have a long-lasting long batteries. They shouldn't be leaking any liquid. They should be very easy to use. They d very little training is required to use than e-cigarettes. For example, I didn't actually know that smoking a tobacco cigarette is quite different from smoking an electronic cigarette. This is definitely something that I've learned myself. Okay. One thing I, I wanted to ask you when you were doing your uh, presentation was with the, I know you guys used a three-piece unit. It was a uh, about a couple of years ago, so it's things have changed a lot. But um, in regards to flavor, did you notice did flavor play any role in the study itself, or did everyone sort of just use it to, like a tobacco kind of uh, flavor that they would be used to? Uh, I cannot answer that question because we didn't actually build in any component aimed at evaluating the sensor the sensorial sensation of the taste, which I believe is very important. You know, it's been important for the tobacco industry for decades. You know, the tobacco, the different products were competing just on the base of the taste. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, this cigarette is better because it tastes like uh, you know the cigarette of a cowboy. You know, <laughs> uh, and and this this tastes very good because it makes me sing better. These were adverts in a yeah. long time ago. I think taste plays a great, great place. Unfortunately, I cannot say very much from this uh, angle because it hasn't been explored in this particular study, but we have set up a number of studies and particularly focusing on, on uh, sensorial aspects linked to, uh, to e-juice, e-liquid and so forth. Okay. And if people wanted to learn any more about you and what you're doing, where would they find that? Uh, I think they can find that uh, over the uh, LIAF website and uh, use your Google trans Translator because some uh, of the information will be in Italian, of course. Right. Yeah, really excited to see what you, what you have. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.